tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go As you can see, I am out here in the garden today. Uh, we are working on these raised beds. It is a windy son of a gun. Hope you can hear me. Rachel is in town helping Allie out with the babies today. Uh, as you guys have been following us know, we just had grandbaby number five, Mr. Maverick. And uh, mama and baby are doing great. But daddy had to go back to work today and uh, today and tomorrow and then he'll have a couple more days off and a long weekend to spend time with Allie and the, the girls but uh, while he's at work Rachel has offered to go in and help her out because it is hard to get around anyway with a new baby and get a new routine going so we're gonna make it so that that works but while she's in there doing that I'm gonna continue working on these raised beds we're going to try to get these two filled up. That way when Rachel gets home in the evenings, we can make a game plan together and decide what we're going to plant in these. But as you can see, I, I'm going to show you guys how we're filling these. Okay, guys, so what I've done is I've taken this uh, stair tread that we've got from salvage from my parents' house. We brought it out here. I've got it on a block and set it up there so I can ramp up the wheelbarrow. I've been hooking it right here on the tin to dump our wood chips in. Once I started doing that over the edge with the dirt, it was a little bit too heavy. started really tearing up that tin. I didn't want to tear it up any more than it already has. So I put that, that trim board on there, trying to give us something else to hook on. Let's go ahead and see if that's going to work and uh, finish filling up this bed. didn't work as you can see that didn't work <laughs> so we're gonna go see if we can find uh probably one of them five quarter boards we'll put across the end of it that way we can put it on and take it off and we move from end to end like i said we've just got these two beds to fill right now if we can get one in five quarter boards it'll stretch across there i think that'll work good so let's go get one so we can try it out okay guys I didn't get a, a full five quarter board, but I did find a one by four over there. So we're gonna try that. I think that'll work. So let's go ahead and go over there and give this a shot. All right, you guys. See, that's what we're talking about. <clears throat> Got this one almost halfway filled up. I need to go down there now. I'm going to start hauling the wood chips to fill this half. And then we can go ahead and get the, the dirt hauled in for that one. But yeah, just a lot of 
a lot of little trips back and forth, but that's what we got to do to make it happen. And ain't nothing but a thing. It's like Rachel keeps telling me. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And that's the way we're taking it. It's day by day, one, one wheelbarrow at a time. All right, guys, so as you can see, that is two wheelbarrows full of the wood chips. It probably takes, oh, between six and eight of those wheelbarrow loads to, to fill up half. So I'm not gonna bore you with any more of this, but we'll be back with some more excitement here in just a couple minutes. You guys, it feels good to be back on the farm. I've kind of been hit and miss uh, with, I've been on grandma duty. Uh, because uh, we have a new little Maverick and uh, I've been hanging out with my daughter, my oldest daughter, a lot, uh, helping her out while her husband's at work. Uh, she does have three under three now <laughs> and she had a cesarean so she can't pick up the one-year-old and that's really tough on little Lakin because she doesn't understand why. So uh, grandma's been stepping in and taking all those cuddles, you know. Uh, somebody's got to take one. Somebody's got to do it. I mean, I know it's a tough job, baby, <laughs> but are you sure you can handle that? <laughs> So, uh, but Rusty has been on the farm and working his tail off. Um, you guys, it's planting season. Yes, so the topsoil is a huge blessing as well. Um, the only issue that I'm having right now is I'm trying to figure out how I can break up these, you know, uh, big rocks. They're not rocks, but dirt clods because I want to get it very smooth before I start planting. And we are going to uh, amend this topsoil with um, with compost. I do, you know, I've yeah. been out here with a little thing. I I happen to have something that might might work on this. You have something that's going to work on this. I think I do. Uh, like the little thing. No, 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 no. You, you, you're doubting me now. <laughs> Let's go in the house. I'll show you what I got hidden in a box in the house. Oh my God. Rusty and his boxes. <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right, Rusty. So it's this awesome tool that you have that's going to make our life so easy. <laughs> uh, let me tell you right now. Task Star has reached out to us with this amazing tool. Another box. It's a box inside a box. Inside of a Yay, box. Yay, you got a box. Mm. Hey, you guys, all of this cardboard is amazing because I can use it out in the greenhouse and in the garden for sure. We have received the Task Star 20 volt cordless tiller. That. So let's is check awesome. this out. I'm really thinking this is going to be the cat's meow. I've read the, some of the reviews on this company. This company has stellar reviews on their cordless tools. Let's get in here. Hey, it looks like they got a live animal. You can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like a puzzle. This is going to be an easy puzzle. This looks like a rusty puzzle. <laughs> yeah. I would ask if you needed me to get the book out, but I'm pretty sure you're going to say, I don't sure. need a book. I'm pretty sure we don't need the book today. So how light is that? So far, I mean, it's about five pounds. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. And we got two 21-volt batteries. Oh. And you can see here... I think that's the same size as my cordless drill. I think it's the same size as the cordless chainsaw. Mm. It has the battery level indicator lights. That one is fully charged. Whoop, whoop. Fully charged. Pretty Baby. Close. Let's go ahead. It's got the charger cord here. We're going to go ahead and start getting some things snapped together. I gotta get in this box because I know we're gonna need a screw for right there. And we have some tiller tines. T 
Tiller Tines. That's what we have. Tiller. Look at those little bad boys. I'm going to do some damage right there. Fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. And here's our bolt box, bolt bag. And we're going to take this little bolt right here. Screw, bolt, however you prefer to call it. Okay, then we'll put that bolt right in there. Goes in finger tight. Throw a little Allen wrench on there. Clamp it into place. Okay. We'll say that's tight. And then we're going to take these. And you can see you've got a small piece of pipe here, and then you've got the pipe and a bushing on the outside. Plus, there's a hole going through these. That means those go to the outside. Because you want to slide that in. If that bushing goes over the, the motor housing, then you'll take one of these little keeper pins. Don't lie. Find out where that hole is at right about. Yeah. Put that on there like that. The same thing on this side. All right, now, I'm gonna take this, take this raised piece right here, and there's a, a slot for it to go in right there. Turn that up. I'm just gonna go right down in there. It slides over and tightens up. Okay. And they did send us two extra clips for the tines, which is awesome because, as you know, anything that vibrates and rotates, you run the chance of losing pieces. Let's just see how loud this thing's going to be. Let's go outside. All right. Okay. So I guess he had something in a box. I had something in the box. Oh, my goodness. Everybody stands in their uh, raised beds. I was going to move this. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready? Like I said, everybody stands in the raised beds. I know I do. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off our uh, mics because they do have noise reducing uh, on them. Because I want, hold on just a second. I want you guys to hear the uh, how quiet this thing is. It's crazy. Those dirt cloths, that's awesome. So my question is, does the operator come with the product? For you, yes. Yay! <laughs> The soil was a little bit wet. It might help break it up a little bit. That's doing a pretty good job, just the way it is. Yeah, boy. And this does come with two batteries. So, I mean, we're going to get. This thing's going to get a workout faux show. Sure. But look at that. Nope. Don't look too close. Okay, hold on, you're in rocks. That one's an actual rock. That's an actual rock. That one is for sure. I think that one's a dirt clod, but we're not going to take any chances here. <laughs> I can't believe how well it has 
broken up those big dirt clods. Do you know how much time this is going to save me? You? Us? Oh. Holy Hannah. Man, I needed this whenever we were doing the herb garden. You're right. Which I could still kind of work around things in the herb garden. Okay, so I underestimated you and your box. Never underestimate my box. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I have to say I'm thoroughly impressed. And thank you to Task Star for sending us this awesome product to review. Yes. And this is going to come in handy, especially with us having uh, raised beds. Uh, man, I'm just so excited. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put the link in the description below if you want your own cordless uh, tiller. Yes. Uh, from Task Star. From Task Star. They, they will be providing us a link and a special discount code for you guys. Yeah, for you guys to try it out. So, yes. um, so far, so good. I'm loving it. I think it's going to be great. Rusty's going to be building us or building me some shorter beds as well. As much as I love these tall beds where I don't have to stoop so much um, for the things like uh, okra and. Um, uh, tomatoes. tomatoes and things like that corn if we get too tall i'm going to be up in ladders trying to get to stuff and we are going to be putting trellises on these you won't have to bend over well yeah but i'll have to be climbing i'm going to be <laughs> in the middle of these beds and rusty's going to be like where did you go um but that's why rusty's been leaving he's he's very he's very good at, at forethought right so he's been leaving these um on there so then that way we can attach trellises where we need to attach trellises and uh it, like especially for the um cucumbers and things like that so super excited about that so uh anyway thank you guys for checking out that review with us i'm i'm thoroughly impressed <laughs> me so, too I, i'm really impressed with how well it works and can't wait to use it some more yes all right so um we're going to get busy. We've got a lot to do. I think we're going to go look at the boards that we're going to be using for the smaller beds uh, right now and then check it out and see what's up. Check it out. That's why they're not. We have these five quarter boards, but we also have these that are uh, shiplap. Yeah. That we've taken off the roof. Already got the nails cleaned out of them. So we'll go ahead and slide this out. I think that you could do them one deep of those, and we won't put wood chips in it. We'll just kind of run the tiller over the ground and then put these. Okay. We'll be weeding those beds. Right. But. And that's the reason I think we'd put there a little bit of wood chips in there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe just on the bottom. Yeah, just a thin layer. Because they run the tiller in there to get rid of the grass or weeds that are growing. Rake that out of the way. Put a little bit of wood chips in there and then dirt right on top of that. Let's see what happens. Well, I think that they will be okay, don't you? Like just one deep? Probably. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't be. We could build two or three because I've got okra in there that needs to be planted. Yeah. And tons of tomatoes that needs to be planted. The peppers, we don't have to plant too far.
All right, so I planted these mortgage lifter uh, tomatoes, but I just remembered something. Um, I've been following Jessica uh, Sowards from uh, Roots and Refuge for a long time. And I just, it dawned on me, I probably need to come and check and see if I've got some grapes to put in those. I've been wanting to try this. You know, I did some um, little, uh, hold on, the door's hard to open. I've done some experimenting with tomatoes before. These ladies, there were two, and this coop, so I'm gonna steal them. Thank you, ladies. All right, I had already put this down in there, but it wasn't very far, very deep. Now, normally you would cut off all of the um, all of the lower branches, but see, these mortgage lifters are different. They are a different um, type of plant, but uh, I, I worry a little bit about the leaves curling there but i think honestly i think that the reason the leaves are curling is uh just uh where they've been in the hot house and it's been super hot except for today i'm gonna dig this hole pretty deep i'm gonna take that egg that i just went and grabbed and i'm just going to take my shovel and give it a little crack there we go let me go a little bit deeper now we are amending the soil with uh, compost, and I know that I don't have great uh, dirt with just the um, with just the top soil, but we're going to do the best we can. And then I'm going to stick that in there, and I'm going to give it ample room. There we go. All right. All right, and then we say a little blessing over it. And there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing to the one on the other end. All right, there we go. We've got that done. Now I'm going to be working in the greenhouse while Rusty is working outside building those uh, last couple of beds for me. And uh, y'all, I have a lot going on in this greenhouse. Um, but I have a lot that needs to be up potted. Uh, so I am going to be working on up potting. Mainly I have these little bitty tomatoes that are just really overrun um, that I need to get up potted. And then I've got a lot of small, which these, like the okra and stuff, I'm not going to up pot because I'm going to be planting them in those um, beds out there. But uh, these, like the Thai peppers, they need to be separated now that they're big enough. So I've just got a lot. I've, I've up potted a lot. I have a lot of great tomato plants that need to be planted in the garden, but I also have a lot that needs to be up potted so that uh, I can take to market as starts as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this stuff. I actually need to go steal Rusty's um, 
grill real quick because I went to the dollar store and bought some more cups and I need to make holes. I didn't, I don't feel like going all the way to the barn and getting the uh, drill bit. So I'm just going to use a screw and uh, make several holes in the bottom for drainage. Hey, do you think I can borrow your impact real quick? This is looking great. That's going to be huge. That's a big... Another one around over there. Yeah. Well, this is going to be perfect because we'll be able to, I'll be able to harvest right. without and having to climb a ladder. Four feet over here, and there'll be a 10 foot, 10 inch. Nice. Nice, yeah. nice. We'll have to prop it up, but that's where the wood chips come in. Get the wood chips in the bottom. That way, they're, they're the filler under the edge. Be good. I just go to the dollar store. Now I just go to the dollar store and I buy the little one dollar for fourteen cups, and this is what I use to up pot. Oh, it's close. Same route. Uh oh. went into the table there. There we go. Okay, you guys, I'm not real sure what happened, but like the bottom fell out. It got cold. North wind came in. You know, we showed you guys the storm clouds earlier. We got a little bit of drizzle, but nothing big, but whew, it got cold. So I went and put my pajama pants on <laughs> and a uh, hoodie. Um, you know, since I cut all my hair off, I get cold so easy. It's the craziest thing. You know, they say that uh, the head holds in a lot of heat or whatever. Yeah, well, I'm pretty cold. Anyway, Rusty's working on that. Um, bed over there he got the two uh shorter beds built so look at this that's awesome we're going to put um cardboard in the bottom to get rid of the weeds and then we're going to have to anchor this one down possibly that one and uh but we're going to get that smoothed out get some cardboard down probably a little bit of wood chips and then we're going to fill it with dirt but this will be great to be able to grow the taller stuff. Um, he almost has this full with the wood chips. <laughs> Are you exhausted? Getting there. Oh man, every day. Every day he's been working his tail off. Um, I mean, you guys, he has built these and then filled them by hand all himself these three um this one i filled as you could tell it's it needs a lot more it needs to be top dressed and this one yeah and these were filled with straw rather than wood chips so they uh they tended to sink down a lot easy a lot more easy i guess um but we did get a couple of things planted. Um, right now, what I'm working on is I'm going to till this up just to kind of get it level. We've got a couple of little spots that are pretty tall. Uh, I'm going to use this little tiller to try to kind of level it out a little bit. Because we have these four tubs that Rusty's filled for me. Uh, that's where we're going to plant our 
sweet potatoes. So um, the thought process is get this kind of, get the holes filled in, and then we're going to put wood chips right here, and then we'll set those on top. So that's what I'm working on now. I got a lot of up potting done. I'll go in there and show you guys that. All right, so I got a lot more stuff up potted. I still have a lot of stuff that I need to get up potted, but uh, at least everything can kind of spread out a little bit. Um, I was working on these cherry tomatoes. See how these cherry tomatoes, Desi had planted some cherry tomatoes and they weren't coming up. And then I got worried that they wouldn't come up, so I just sprinkled cherry tomatoes in there, seeds in there, just to, you know, like, okay, they're going to come up. And they all come up. So now we have those. Uh, we did get some more stuff uh, up potted. I'm out of potting soil and I'm out of cups. So I was just using topsoil and up potting. It's fine with the with the uh, potting soil that they have. And so, uh, yeah. Huh. Anyway, one step at a time, you guys. down so hopefully they don't
bit windy, so we just don't want it to, um, we just don't want it to fly. All right, you guys, that was a pretty darn productive couple of days. Yes. Um, Rusty's been working his tail off out here um, while I have been um, helping. Working your tail off running, chasing babies. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to hold the baby. I would rather stay here than chase babies. It's so hard to play with the baby. I loved my grandbabies. Don't get me wrong. but <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Uh, yesterday, they I was... They wear me out. I was in the house. I, we had come home, and at, and Desi said, Mom, can I listen, Can we listen to music while I do chores? And I said, you know, normally I am like, yes, absolutely, let's do some music, but I listen <clears throat> to kids all day, so let's just chill today. So, <laughs> so yeah, I love the grandbabies. I have fun with the grandbabies. Um, but anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Uh, we're going to go in and get something to eat, and um, tomorrow I have to sub at the school so i'll be gone again tomorrow during the day but um rusty's going to be here and i might be able to find something to do tomorrow to yeah stay it's busy it's getting to that time of year where um where we're going to be on the farm a lot because we have so much to get done so uh it, you know it gets away from you like within a day like i'm sitting here standing here talking to you guys and my um adhd is kicking my butt because do you guys see these uh, carrots that need to be thinned, like, uh, yeah. And it needs to be weeded, even though it's um, a raised bed, we do get a lot of uh, stuff from the trees. So we have trees growing in the sides. Uh, so I just need to get in here and get it done. So, um, <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, all right, you guys, so I hope you guys like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. Leave us some comments, you guys. Let us know what you think of these last couple days. We've been pretty busy, like Rachel said. But most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yeah, and you guys, don't forget to check out that link below uh, to check out that cordless um, tiller. Yes. I think that thing, uh, it's already worth its weight in gold. Yes, it's already... Yeah. So. If we'd have had to pay cash money for it, it'd have already paid for itself, let yeah. me tell you. Yes, definitely. All right, you guys, until next time, God bless. See ya.